Tommy Ali with another post making it clear she was scared for her life when she was protecting herself. What? Them girls eat bullets for breakfast. They, they are from that culture. I was scared for my life. You guys see me all the time. You see me shopping, going out of the country, living life. You know what I mean? Getting fly. I love to shop. I love to eat well. I love to, you know, be with my family. I don't know. Uh, Tommy, you was hiding a Cuda Brown at that baddies reunion, okay? You didn't want no smoke with Roly. So what did you do next? The same thing you did to Bobby's Light. You started attacking the security and attacking men who you knew wasn't going to hit you back just to act like you're tough and hard. You was high out your mind. You was delusional. You was a hype girl. You know, Tommy, I feel like the reunion, they could have focused more on developing different things, like developing the plot point where Kiva and Taseki should have fought. fought. Kiva, you, your big scary ass, you ain't fight to second. You copping, please, because, you know, uh, baddies, Wes, we want to see you fight to uh, Kiva. We want to see you fight to Y'all can't sit up. Everybody can't be scared of to If that's the case, she just need to get out the show. Or she need to put her security show on and let them hoes fight it out and not be scared. You intimidating people because you done knocked Diamond about the tooth out. Child, please, she up there looking like a poodle and got her ass beat. That was definitely a highlight. But Tommy, you're not a victim. Okay, you're not. You, you was a problem. No, I ate that. Looks like J-Lo wants to run it with whoever, but Biggie isn't giving her any clout on part three of the reunion. Happy! 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 No, she no 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 you didn't eat that you got beat up on national TV, Biggie. You let Jayla ball you up like a piece of paper. Matter of fact, we felt sorry for you. The only reason I felt like you should have stayed on Baddies Caribbean because you was the LOL cow of first Baddies Caribbean episode one, two, and three. You was the LOL cow. Meatball had to stand up for you, and that manifested into Jayla getting her ass beat by Meatball. Meatball, man, Meatball is the MVP. Let's be clear. Of the whole, all three Baddies Caribbean's episode, Meatball is the MVP. Now, I know I done said on this platform many a times that I didn't want to see Biggie and Meatball no more. No, I think Biggie need to go. Anytime you peace out and say that the only thing that you really have valuable to add is that you make more money than the replacements, but you let somebody hit you in the face, you were so scared you went out in the audience where you know it was going to be a liability for any of the castmates to come and bang on your goddamn man out there. And then you worried about somebody else if they knew what was going on like they supposed to protect you. You the softest gangster. How you going to be about that gangster life and people supposed to have your back? Sister, sister, you only the sister behind the scenes or when it's time to roll the blunt, bitch. Oh, no. Talking about you sell a lot of stages and ain't nobody paying nothing to go see you, Biggie. But then again, you never know. They like them like Biggie. They shit on them over in Dubai. Maybe she going over there with Scotty, the body, and Natalie. It's three scariest motherfuckers get shitted on in Dubai. Oh, no. Uh, Biggie, you are the least valuable player, okay? It took Diamond to participate in order to get her shit pushed in. So she more valuable than you. You don't want to fight at all. You want to sit up there and gatekeep and body somebody and figure out some stuff like you gang culture, gang related, gang gang. You add value to anybody. How dare you try to tell Natalie Nunn not to play any of Chris Sean Rock and Stunner Girl music, but you supposed to be sisters with Tzatziki? But you care, oh, we ain't playing none of that. We don't fuck with them. You not big dog of this bitch. You're not big dog. You might be the biggest. Okay, it does it biggie, biggest. Okay, you look, you Google, Google Baddies Caribbean castmate, and you see Biggie Smalls in her picture. That's how much that they don't like her. She's scary. She's not valuable. I personally don't want to see Biggie back. I don't even want to see Mariah back either. 
you call, you caught a fade and did everything. You 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 snuck out within 15 minutes of the first episode. Then you want to come back at the end, at the very last minute of the third episode. Shit, Bianca and Mariah, some of the scariest motherfuckers. Okay, let's be clear. Um, let's go here. Start. Click the link to vote in bio. Uh, most least valuable baddies. Okay, I think I was saying. That's right. Give her a chance. Come on, hit the light. Hit the light, y'all. Come on. Okay, ET, straight. Listen, ET, bitch, phone home. Go home, okay? ET, phone home. ET is a crash dummy. You, If you think Diamond the Body is a crash dummy, at least her going live talking smack drummed up attention and wanted us to see Tasiki eat her, and she got eight child. <laughs> oh no! But uh, Miss Et phone home in that Rainbow City party city door to explore outfit that you got on. Okay, Et is going to forever be a child, childish, leaking people phone numbers, get on the show because Roly her friend. Instead of her being a friend and understanding the power dynamic and the structure, you want to fight and keep getting beat up. E.T., you came to one episode on Baddies Caribbean. They sent you home. They needed to use you as a catalyst for when Roly came on, bitch. At least you could have been like Safari. Y'all seen when Sukiyana came on and Safari started crying, telling her she going to lick her pussy from the back just to stay on the show? At least Sukiyana said, it's okay, you can stay on the show, I'm going to go. You don't even know how to play your cards right. You know, she is definitely a crash dummy. Okay, look how she came out like door with that rainbow city wig. That shit wasn't even glued down. How you get your hair done, your eyelashes done, and you take them out. You look like that badass kid on the football team who think he's the best, but the nigga can't really play. Okay, that's what I get from E.T. E.T.? Phone your ass home, okay? And hope they didn't call and somebody pick you up off that motherfucking flow. Because Roly slid your ass and she said you ain't getting no more clout off of her. Because when she slid you, she did a number on you. All right, E.T., we sick and tired of the same tired storyline for three, four years. It's bad enough we let Tommy get away with it. And she was still scared of Roly. We don't want to see that no more. E.T., Get out the show, grow up, go back to school, learn your hooked on fun, bitch, because I know you ain't got your high school diploma. Oh, no. Get up out of here. She's slow. Um. Oh, let me not play that one. That might be too far. Okay. Okay, so this is E.T. Foot. Okay. See, we don't feel bad for you, Scarface, a.k.a. E.T. She said, y'all can keep believing what y'all like. It don't matter. Okay, the carpet wasn't there. So Diamond the Body got beat up on the carpet. Diamond the Body said, wait, wait, we got to move. Tzatziki said, bitch, I don't want to hear shit. Bop, 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 bop. Do, 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 do. Knocking the Mario coins out of goddamn man. You know, so we felt bad for Diamond because she got ate by the biggest eater. And then the carpet and stuff. They, they had moved the carpet, E.T. So, E.T., you want us to feel bad. Because your ass then went and took a pair of skates and took the bottom off. And you slipping and sliding. Like it's 1999. Uh-uh. We don't feel sorry for broke-ass bitches. They got broke-ass shoes. That Nike check look just like that Nike check Jonetta had on his shirt with your broke ass. Flea market, Rainbow City. Didn't... <laughs> Rowley specifically said that she went on a $2,500 shopping spree at Rainbow, bitch. I fell out. Oh, no. I holler. $2,500 at Rainbow. You that, bro? $2,500 at Rainbow. You redoing your whole school, your whole closet. And she's slow. Slow as ever. Jonathan Wright did you a favor when he put that wig on your head. They said you just showed up to show out and ain't even get paid. You so crazy, you ain't even connected, you ain't even there. You know, we thought Diamond about it. You are the weakest link. You and Christian, both of y'all need to be on the show. Hooked on funnies. 
Reading and write me, my sister, don't wait for me, my key, bad, bad. Okay, go join the church, go do something, E.T. We sick and tired of you, bitch. Phone home and hope that they hear you. Um, they got the teaser. Let me, let me, let me see if the blog is because before I get my ultimate opinion. Okay, here's another one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So look at look at Biggie. Look how scared she is. Look at her. Like I told y'all, Biggie is that loser friend. Biggie is that loser friend that says, you know, and that's just a skit. That's not dangerous. Ain't nobody get hurt. Okay. Nobody got hurt. Nobody got hurt. Nobody drew any blood or anything. Let's be clear. Biggie is that big girl at the skating ring. Okay. At least E.T. was brave enough to put the skate shoes on and slipped and fell. She can't get up. You just running. Like, baddies don't run. Baddies don't run. J.O. Clock and Big E.T., even to second, not in agree with what she was saying, how Big E want to jump in fights but don't want to fight. Oh, yeah. That's absolute true. Biggie wanna jump. Big Biggie, Biggie don't even jump in fights. Biggie, you know what? Let me do you a service, bitch. You re, Biggie remind me of this girl named Miracle that I grew up with. God bless Miracle Soul. She wanted everybody to believe she died with cancer, but the HPV, you know, tore a hole in her booty hole and she just died and all of that other stuff. That's the first time I heard about HPV. She couldn't hold her bowels, no nothing. Biggie looked like her and remind me of her. And, you know, when we was a kid, she used to, you know, she was big and the size was intimidating. Bitch, you had the biggest bark. Ain't nobody going to touch my sister. Oh, what you going to Sound just like Biggie. What you going to do? Ain't nobody. You, you know, you would think that it would be a lesbian talking like that, but she wasn't no lesbian. She thought she was bad, too. You know, every blue moon, she'll get her nails done. That's when we was, you know, teenagers and high school age and just early 19, you know, but before then when we was actual children, her, her grandma Verdell had them pushing her on side of the highway, walking three, two and a half miles to the grocery store to steal everything and walking two and a half miles back. And ain't nobody walked them in the car because they was thinking. So uh, Biggie remind me of Miracle. But like I said, God bless her soul. Ain't nobody going to do nothing to my sister. We don't want to go do this. Oh, yeah. What's what? We don't want to be all of this mouth. And people fell for it. People fell for it. We grew up with Miracle. We ain't never seen Miracle get in a fight until she was about 22 years old. I mean, from Pampers all the way up, people were scared to fight Miracle because of the way she talked and her size. That's what Biggie gave me. I remember Miracle beat Miracle. Was, oh, get out that swing, nigga. We at this time, you know, niggas is slow, like ET. Big and ET, they on the same company ish level. Niggas is slow, niggas is teenagers still in the park. You know, I know nah, about nigga. I was about, I had to be about 14. So Miracle had to be 17. Miracle wanted to swing in the swing in the neighborhood park, you know, the neighborhood park that we seen growing up. <laughs> That's big all day. Let me put let me put this clip of her running so y'all can understand the gag. <laughs> so you know, she got him. Hey, oh, you gonna get out that swing? I just got here. I'm not getting out of swing, nigga. We seen Miracle fight. We we thought Miracle Miracle was like Big Burn, the female version of Big Burn, without the ice cream truck. I'm talking about a bitch that got an ice cream chip just so she can stay with some ice cream eating. You know, um, and that was a gag about Big Vern. He ate all the ice cream. That was the secret. He had no ice cream to give. He ate it all. He would get it and eat it all. That's why when the kids and Friday ask about their ice cream, that what was so funny about it. What was so fun? That's the funny. Go back and look at Friday and look at when they ask about the ice cream. The nigga ate all the ice cream. One no ice cream. Okay. <laughs> And Biggie is the type that'll eat all the ice cream and don't want to share with nobody. Y'all seen Anna supposed to be your cousin. All of a sudden, Anna go and meet with your family. Y'all cousin just like Meatball and Tink's sister. Sister, sister. 
you know, bitch like Biggie called people sister, but she got a room with chairs and shit come fly. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? So, oh, uh, chairs and shit come fly, miracle, big voice, big, ain't gonna do shit. Niggas fight in slow motion. Niggas go to cry. Like, why somebody got to defend you? Biggie looked like a uh, Shrek wife, if you really ask. I can do without her. I'm sorry. She is not a baddie. And these girls in the Midwest, these hoes is getting their noses broke at auditions and coming back in there to fight some more. And you going to say that y'all going to babysit her? Listen, Meatball, Meatball, and Taseki, Meatball, Taseki, and Gretchen has set the tone for what we want to see next. Okay. We want y'all hoes to be untrained WWE. Okay. We want people to talk about how you got messed up and they release it years later. You know, see how uh, Amber Rose and ate up Jocelyn her neck. That's why I can't get into Jocelyn Cabaret. All of them are scared of her because she's like, uh, she's an ill informed version of Natalie. At least Natalie will let you know she can't fight it. She's scared. Jocelyn, she went on another show and got beat up by a biracial bald-headed woman. So that's why I can't get into cabaret. How somebody got beat up by a bald-headed biracial woman gonna tell me that everybody around me got to fight and kiss my ass? That's why I can't get into it. Jocelyn, let me tell you when I stopped believing in Jocelyn. When I seen Baddies versus Wild and Jocelyn, all them girls got packed up, folded up. They ain't even need no chairs, and them hoes was running like Biggie. And Jocelyn was scared to fight Tzatziki. That's when I gave up on her. I ain't even going to count. Um, so J-O J is right. Now, let me see if Kiva's in here before I say what I need to say. So much going on. Tommy pulling that bonnet over Rolly's face was nasty work. I can't lie. Um, E.T. was not here. None of that. E.T. E is just slow. She got the right name, too. They need to just put her in the spaceship. And just send her on off into outer space. You know, every single time they, they act, she just too, she's not a lady. She has, she's three in the head. She has, she's not grown. It, you know what? I will tell you. E.T. is not right for baddies. Because see, the baddies, they present themselves. They got talent. They got music. They got their shit together. They shit down clubs. They ain't on that childish shit. E.T is perfect for baddies going wild. She can actually bring in and be the head honcho of that. Her and Christian, but Christian ain't on that. So E.T. can kickstart it. And that's probably why they brought her in here right now. Because all these baddies and this and this, they, believe me, they playing properly. They properly playing the budget. They properly playing the locations that they're going to film at. Months ahead of time. They just don't show up there and film and just go to a club and no months ahead of time. Sometime a year. If these girls are booked up all the way into next year because of this app in the clubs, what make you think that the episodes and stuff ain't already planned? It's already planned out. They already made the money to do it. You know, so uh, I think... It was pretty smart for them to bring E.T. Because E.T. pretty much closed the show and showed how goofy and slow she is. Let's be clear. Um, It could have been a prequel to her being on Baddies uh, going wild. I think she would be perfect on that. I would watch her on that. Because we don't, we wouldn't be looking at that for them to, you know, be sophisticated. If you can call this ratchet shit that you would see nothing but crash dummies on Baddies going wild. Um, why Dia always getting tore up? Yes, that's another thing. Okay. See, Miss Dia, Miss Dia would get beat up and concede that she got beat up. And Miss Dia felt like that she wasn't supposed to be getting sent home on Baddest Caribbean because she was from the islands and she gonna represent. Don't nobody care about that. Don't nobody care about you being from the islands. Don't nobody care about where you from unless you are. Nah, we good. You ain't made it. I, I can come on here and I can't believe I'm going home from the islands and I'm Caribbean. You ain't hold it down. It's a shame all the women that represents the Caribbean 
got the ass. Well, Biggie, the Dominican Republic. Puerto Rico, if you, you know, held it down, but that's in the States. But some people still look at it like an island. Gretchen snatched Jayla teeth out her motherfucking mind. She had to bite that girl hand, so now we don't feel bad because she bitch in the chest. But as far as the black women or the black adjacents, Biggie whooped. Diamond about to have Jamaican whooped. On a Mac, on a Mac held it down. I ain't even gonna lie. On a Mac, that motherfucker can fight, and she wild. I like her. I did not like her until I. She has these temple tantrums. She has these thing, this thing to where she, you know, she know her place. She's like everybody. She's she antagonized. And then when she fights, she'll just be going crazy and do. Okay, she gave. Okay, I don't even know why she was scared to fight Mariah, but she gave new new yeah new new the one talking about um Anna Mac sleeping with Antonio Brown that Trump supporter. <laughs> she gave her the business, but um uh I don't even know why Dia was at the. That is the season. Who is right. that? Okay, so they said who is that? Again, Miss Mariah. Look at this. Mariah. Oh. Um, Look at this. Hold on. The big one, not the little one. <laughs> okay, gotcha. okay, Mariah. At the end of the that is the season. Who is Mariah, that? Mariah. They say, who is that? Mariah. Keep in mind, this is the end of episode three of Baddies. Each episode, 40 minutes. So it's safe to say 40 minutes, 40 times 40. That's, that's uh, 120 minutes. That's two hours. A footage that they compiled, cut, paste, put in whatever they wanted to. Mind you, they got about fucking eight cameras and people following in the back. They got all of this footage. You didn't cut together two hours reunion. So it's pretty safe for me to say that they had to have at least six hours of footage. Six hours of footage. They had to be there at least six to eight hours. I mean, that's what I would book if I book a space and reserve it. Shit, eight to 12 hours. And then you got the guests and then you got the cameras moving and you got the in-between shit that they're not really filming. Then the stuff that they actually film, they was there for a good eight to 12 hours. Mariah got scrubbed in the first 15 minutes of Baddie's Caribbean reunion. She got scrubbed by Bianca. Last we seen you, you said you was going home with a with an eye busted open. I, I can't keep getting my eye busted open if I'm Mariah. I can't do it. So now you want to make sure that you can come back on another season. So you want to sneak in at the end. And these hoes, like, who, who are you? And these supposed to be your sisters? These supposed to be the people that you rock with, that tag you, that protect you, that hang out with you. You guys have a production going on here. You mean to tell me it, they, they didn't need, they didn't forgot about you? You don't need to be on that. Yeah. No. Um, the big one, not the little one. Nah. <laughs> nah. At the end of that is the season. Who is that, Mariah? Oh, we good on you. Now tell me what did the cameraman do? Tommy is just like Tommy's a crackhead. She we don't need her anymore either. Okay, we it's cute and all that you rode in on a horse and that you tussled with Natalie. Okay, it's all it's okay. It's good. Okay, you didn't let Natalie get some licks in. Just like you know, Tommy was this season's Camila. Let's bring her in because we know Natalie can hang in the paint with her. The show Natalie can fight, and then let's make sure she don't fight no more. Nobody else attack her during the season. Okay, that's why she was scared of Callie. Her and, and Tommy out there and pissed on each other. No, they fight because they love us. Uh, been to Dubai getting shitted on. All that, okay? Tommy, we good on you, okay? You just a light-skinned crackhead at this point. I don't want to see you no more. Go find something else to do. Santana speaking nothing but facts. Biggest is either you squabble with J.O. straight up or shut up. You saying you won't give her a clock but continue to drag on the fact she snuck you is giving her that clock and making it look scary. Exactly, okay? Exactly. Oh, my goodness. Not I said. Not I said. She looked like Dora the Explorer. This is exactly, oh my goodness. Compton, is this how y'all doing it? Dr. Dre, you can help the girl a lot before she got on national TV. You know, uh, Zeus is bigger than 
just as big as Netflix. And Netflix got plenty of money to operate outside of Hollywood. So if Zeus is the second best app for streaming in Netflix, when you got Disney Plus, Hulu, all of these other apps, you mean to tell me y'all couldn't get E.T., no clothes? You know how many people finna be this for Halloween? <laughs> With the beat up shoes that look like rollerblade skates, that's what that's what happened when you go on shopping sprees. Twenty five hundred dollars shopping sprees at Rainbow, according to Roller. Oh no! Mm -mm. Now you are in bet. You are in bet. Zeus, y'all got to do better. Zeus, the second highest app, and they got black women looking like this. That's a Halloween wig on. <laughs> that's a Halloween wig on, y'all. <laughs> And uh, this is a shame. She came out that she couldn't have no conversation with nobody. Why? Because she's one of them slow girls that feel like fighting is their talent. You talk crap about me online. I'm, I'm supposed to get paid to run up on you. Or I got to show that I can run up on you and then negotiate the bag afterwards. This is, oh, Lord. Zeus Network is evil. Should I rather go back looking at subliminal gay shit in SpongeBob instead of fucking with Zeus Network? See, this is the type of nigga shit I avoided my whole life. But yet again, we still talking about it because it's a guilty pleasure. Y'all see how E.T. just pushed the chair like nothing. Yeah, that's how I'm going to be minding my business. Nah, we good. We good. Hey! Oh, nobody. I know Tommy didn't just say Bobby had AIDS. What? Accused you of that? No one accused you of that. Really? No, I did not accuse. Hey! Oh, nobody <laughs> accused you of that. No one accused you of that. Really? No, I did not. Accuse hey! Oh, nobody <laughs> accused you of that. No one accused you of that. Really? No, I. Didn't. is the goat, child. Not. T that's what happened. And from the looks of it, you never know what's going on. He need to come on out here and tell about his experience and advocate for his people. Get you some clicks and views. Since the other interviews that you're doing, they ain't hitting no shit. You need a community behind you. How the cameraman felt after Tommy was clocking his shit, LOL, talking about how he how he basically is a cameraman working for Zeus and he that grown and everything. How you supposed to be classy, sophisticated, and look what you're doing on Zeus Network. All right, y'all, I love this Zeus page, this Zeus Network I-N-T-I-N-C. We're going to be pulling content and giving commentary on this. Um, and look at Mariah. Look at Mariah giving commentary on Akbar. Not uh, Akbar, go on, sit down. You let Mariah beat the piss out you. Go on, sit down. Ran you out of Atlanta. Let's talk about it. They from Michigan. How the fuck run you out your own city, baby? I've been living in Jersey Damn. and New York across the water my whole life. Been beefing built whole life and still go outside comfortably you talking about like one two like i said i wasn't talking about you but if the shoe fits wear it bitch. so i want to know the akbar did she really go to a baddie's audition or did she actually was a special guest there and they didn't protect her because if they didn't protect her how they did cash doll dream doll <coughs> asian doll or jump bitches for testing mariah that means that Natalie don't really fuck with you. You know, you went and got a bag and you got opt out. You got opt up through a bag. You know, um. Listen, I know like you just need your storyline, so I'm gonna let you have it. Man, this is why to this day that I'm cool with OG Nia Lee. OG Nia Lee was not right there when I got smoked. I can't listen. I know like. You just need your storyline, so I'm gonna let you have it. Man, this is why to this day that I'm cool with OG Nia Lee. OG Nia Lee was not. We don't wanna hear that. We don't wanna hear that, okay? We want you to act like it's up and it's stuck. You're supposed to be a baddie. That's what we want. We don't want you explaining yourself. The minute you call yourself a baddie and you go to explain to somebody that you don't wanna fight and why you don't wanna fight and, and somebody snuck you and they hit you in the face like Biggie, but you ate that, uh uh. Uh-uh, get out the show. Them girls in the Midwest running people out of their own city. And I seen it. Um, you know, I want to give a special shout out to Trina.